Hello, my friends. It's a little impromptu uh, couple lessons this afternoon. Um, I finally decided on the format and screenshots I'm going to use for the lessons. We're going to have a white background from now on. And uh, today I'm just dressed as business as usual, not in my little brown sweater. And we hear some kids screaming in the background, and that's just fine. They're having a great time with Lego Dimensions. But anyway, today is going to be a Jimmy Buffett day. I'm going to blaze through as many Jimmy Buffett songs as I can uh, with these lessons. Who knows? I know like dozens of them. So four hours, I don't know. We're going to make a lot of lessons. And by the way, today we are fueled by, uh, let me see if I can get in the camera. Today we are fueled by booze and uh, inspiring. Wonderful day in Florida. And so we will do this. So we're going to start with uh, Cheeseburger in Paradise. Um, the intro to it. Very easy uh, intro. It starts with a B minor and then goes to an A. Back to B minor. Then to G. Then we have B minor. A. And then a D. Now there's an easier way to do that. I'll start with the easy one first. Um, we'll do it down here and I'll show you the chords finger by finger. Basically the B minor down here in the second fret, in case you're not familiar with bar chords, um, we start with uh, second finger, third fret, second string, and third and pinky are going to come over here to the fourth fret on the fourth string and the third string. So we have something like this, and your first finger is actually going to bar these. So it looks like this. And you can, if you can see down here to the uh, lower left with my picking hand, I'm uh, picking just four strings. You can throw the fifth in there if you want. Sometimes, it, usually I just keep it to four. We basically have that chord. B minor is the name of that. And then we have A, which you can finger like this. In the case of this particular song, I like to finger it with just my first finger across the fourth, third, and second strings. So we have something like this. However, you may know is this with your first second and third fingers across the fourth, third, and second strings. So we have B minor, A. From there we go B minor, G. And there's a couple ways you can finger the G, but uh, for this kind of music I find it best to just use what was commonly called the G5 a while ago. Most recently in the last 15 or so years, it's just called a G, and what we have here is uh, your pinky and third on the first string and second string. Then we have open third and open fourth, and then we have first finger down here on the uh, second fret of the fifth string, and third here on the third fret of the uh, first string. So it looks like. So basically what we have here is B minor, A, then B minor, G, then we're going to do B minor, A again, then D, and by the way, in the rest of the uh, playlist, I'm just going to not spell out finger by finger what these um, chords are, I'm going to just go ahead and tell you how to play them in the song. So. Uh, Learn them now while you can. D is uh, first finger, second fret, third string, third finger, second string, third fret, and second finger, first string, second fret. And for this one, if you look to the lower left, we're only going to strum four strings. So when you put it all together, we have B minor, A, With the enter there, we have. And you can also do it like this up here. Um, when I used to play it live, I used to do this, a lot of these songs in a uh, live set. Um, I used to go B minor, A, B minor, G, then B minor, A, 
play A, and then we'll get down, down here to this D. But it's a little more convenient to go to this D. And the way we do that is this is a bar chord. I'm not going to go through every finger right now. Um, but if you do know how to do these bar chords, I'll move back a little bit here for the camera angle. Basically a B minor here. Then the A bar chord here. B minor here. And then G here. Then we have B minor, A, and this bar chord of D. So anyway, there's our intro. And in the next segment of the playlist, I will show you the verse. Okay, this is our next segment in uh, Cheeseburger in Paradise by Jimmy Buffett. It's the verse. Um, it all starts with G, and then A, and then D. It looks like this. Which are all chords we learned in segment one. I showed them to you finger by finger. If you didn't get it, or just uh, found this video on YouTube randomly, go back to segment one of the playlist. <clears throat> so anyway, it looks like this. We have G. Tried to mend my carnivorous habits. We have tried to mend my carnivorous habits. And what we have there, uh, like I said, GAD. And it just kind of repeats. Watch this, I go. Tried to mend my carnivorous habits. Then we go to G again. Made it nearly so. 70 days A, D, G again, losing weight without speed, eating sunflower seeds. And then we have B minor, which you learned in the beginning. Or, I'm sorry, we have E. Drinking lots of carrot juice, so get up, raise. I was thinking about a different song. Um, and E, we can use the E7 or the E. There, uh, I'll show you those to you right now. Um, we have uh, first finger, first fret, third string, third finger, second fret, fourth string, and second finger, second fret, fifth string. There's our E. I'll get my pinky out of the way there so you can see it. Or if we want to do an E7. Lots of carrot juice, so and up raise. We just throw out the third finger. So what we have with the E7 is first finger here, second finger, second fret, uh, fifth string, throw, throw out the third finger. We'll get it out of the way here so you can see it clearly on camera. I wouldn't recommend playing it with that technique, but it looks good on the screen, what you need to do. And then A7, it's kind of like this A, or this A, but we throw out uh, whatever finger would be on the second fret of the third string. I've seen people do it like this, I've seen people do it like that, doesn't matter. A7, so we got drink, lots of care, do so good up raise. And then we're back to our pattern. But at night, G, I keep having these A, and then we have wonderful dreams, and that's D. A, D. So we have, but at night, G, I keep having these A, D, A, G. One more time, at night, I keep having these wonderful dreams. And then we have G, I'm kind of sent you a street. I almost feel like I should make that little part into another segment of the playlist so you can kind of go over it but I don't know I may or not let's let's see how well you do with it right now so at night I keep having these wonderful dreams some kind of sensuous treat and then what I think I'm going to do is combine that with the Havanas and Bananas whatnot part in the next segment of the videos so you don't get it all confused. We'll do that in the next part of the video, and then we'll do the third part, the fourth part rather, with the chorus. And that'll, that'll help you all keep it 
demonstrate what we need to do here. Okay, next up we have the chorus for Cheeseburger in Paradise. This is so easy. It's kind of like the verse. Um, so if you learn the uh, chords in the verse segment one of this playlist, go back to that, check it out. Starts with G to A. Cheese burger. There's A in paradise. A lot of the charts online have just. Excuse me. There's our beer coming through. G cheeseburger in paradise. They just have the D cheeseburger in paradise. My whole life when I played it at gigs, I'd play it G A cheeseburger in pair. We'd have D, A, A, D. We have G, cheeseburger, and paradise. Same thing next verse, or next line rather. Heaven on earth with an onion slice. Same thing next line. Not too particular, not too precise. I'm just a cheeseburger in paradise. I'm just a cheeseburger in paradise. And then it goes back to the intro we looked at earlier. So we'll go over that chorus one more time so you don't have to rewind the video again. We have G, cheeseburger in paradise. Heaven on earth with an onion slice. Not too particular, not too precise. I like my cheeseburger in paradise. I like my cheeseburger in paradise. And it's back to the intro. And then they go into that little, little interlude. We'll get to that in a minute here. Okay, here's our last segment to uh, Cheeseburger in Paradise. I'm just going to kind of play through the intro verse and chorus, you know, as if I was at a gig or something years ago. And um, so you know how it all fits together. You can see the strum, you can hear the lyrics, all the stuff we learned so far. And I'm going to do this, you know what, I'll do the easier version for you with this intro down here. So what we got is the intro. And the verse, try to man my carnivorous habits. They it near the seven days. Just play with our tea and sunflower seeds. Drinking lots of carrots, soaking up the rays. But at night I keep having these wonderful Sensuous trees, not Havana's or bananas and daiquiris, but that American creation on which I feed. Cheeseburger is paradise, heaven on earth with an onion slice. Not too particular, not too precise. I make a cheeseburger in paradise. I like my cheeseburger in paradise. Verse 2. I'm going to lean this a little bit this way so you can see my uh, picking hand better this time around. Heard about the old time seller and man made the same thing again and again. Warm beer and bread, but the sacred grace of dead reminds me of a holiday in time to change for sale these days. How before I get what I need? Love of the sand is a daiquiris. It's an American creation on which I feed. Cheeseburger is paradise. And on earth is an onion slice. Not too particular, not too precise. I like my cheeseburger in paradise. I like my cheeseburger in paradise.
And I like mine with lettuce and tomato. Hans 57. And, and it goes on from there. Anyway, you guys get the idea. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and that I move like slowly and methodically and thoroughly enough to uh, pick this stuff up even if you were a beginner. Thanks. Next Jummy Buffett uh, song coming up next. Okay, uh, this is that little bridge interlude kind of thing where he does this, um, I don't know, maybe he was a predecessor to rap along with uh, Chuck Berry and the rest of the guys in the 50s. Uh, people were rapping long before Snoop Dogg, right? So anyway, we, what we have here is this little... And when I've done a live, I've always kind of like done this little thing here. Let me shoot back. Well, I'll take my uh, hand to go and just kind of wrap it. Well, I like mine with lettuce and tomato, Heinz 57, and French fried potato, and whatnot. Anyway, um, and then I, I'm sure other people have seen it be like, they do something like that. Well, I like mine with lettuce and tomato. And you can even throw a chord in there. Well, I like mine with lettuce and tomato. I'm 57 French fried potato, etc., etc. So just use your imagination on the bridge. And then it goes back into the uh, chorus and we finish the whole song. So the next segment of the video, I think I'm just going to like do the intro, sing a verse and then um, sing a chorus, and then we'll be done with this lesson. We'll, we'll move on to another five or six Jimmy Buffett songs. Because I love Jimmy Buffett. Hey, in the last segment of Cheeseburger in Paradise, I uh, left off with here. When I'm poor to get what I need. And I said I'm going to start the next segment um, here because it's kind of like a good place to leave off when you're teaching a student. Um, so what, what we have here, Not Havana's or bananas or daiquiris. And forgive me if I have the lyrics wrong. Let me pull them up on my tablet here. I, mean, I was doing these Jimmy Buffett songs for years, but whenever I was playing a club or like a little beach thing, I always just made it up. You know, I didn't really know. Confession, all those people who have followed me all those years. I was making crap up. Um, <clears throat> anyway, let's see here. It says, but at night I keep having these wonderful dreams from kind of sensuous streets. And that, that's where we left off in the last uh, segment. And actually, this thing on the tablature has it wrong, Peter, but that's just fine. Um, Anyway, the next part of the song goes, Not to keep it a teeny or bog or a wheat, but a big warm bun and a huge chunk of meat. So let's just go through those chords for a minute. Um, we have G, not to peeny, D, fettuccine, or vulgar, which is the G. And then D is wheat. And then we have G. But a big warm bun. And then there's D. And then A, a huge chunk of meat. We'll do that one more time. G. Not zucchini or fettuccine D. Or bulgur D. A wheat. But a big warm bun, D, and a huge chunk of meat. And now we'll see how that uh, links into what we did before um, in the last segment. So you can kind of like see how it flows together. Uh, as we know in the verse, we had losing weight without speed and sunflower seeds. And an E7. I like E7. I think that's what he played on the album. This little chart here on, I'm not going to name the website. Let's not defame them and tell them they're wrong. 
But anyway, drinking lots of CR juice and soap and up raising a seven. And not a cat is wonderful dreams. And I've always played a D A D. And then we have some kind of sensuous treat, B minor. That's pretty much where we left off. We have G, uh, some kind of sensuous treat. And that's what leads into the part we just learned in the segment. Kind of sing to a street to our little law. Uh, not zucchini, fettuccine, or bulgur wheat, but a big warm bun with a big chunk of meat. And I guess in the next segment here, we'll hit the uh, chorus. And what I'm doing here is I'm looking at my tablet for kind of a reference for the lyrics. Anyway, so we'll go on to the chorus in the next segment. Okay, now we're going to do a quick strum listen for uh, Cheeseburger in Paradise, at least the strum I use, and a couple variations you might uh, like. As you see, I've increased the uh, lower left um, window. I, I wouldn't even pay attention to this window over here, the big one. I'm trying to fit the chords into it on the screen. If it doesn't work, that's fine. Um, Generally, if you don't want to do a lot of muting and things like that in it, um, we have our chords here. I do man my carnivorous habits. What I'm doing here, I'm like just kind of doing this. If you wanted to, you could just do this kind of down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 you look at the top. So you have G, A, G, G. And there I did this kind of. It's a little more complicated. We'll, we'll just go over it quick. Which is a little mute, down, down, mute. And then down, up, down, or you can just do down. hard to do slow. Down, me, up, down. Down, me, up, down. And even sometimes I'll throw this little. Down, me, up, down. Down, me, up, down. Down, me, up, down. Down, me, up, down. So you have something like this. If I do man my fingers, I have it. And then here I throw a little suspended in. That's out of habit from so many years of playing a lot. Made it near the seven days. So you see I'm kind of keeping it steady. That's pretty much what I do the whole song. So there's your strum. <laughs> 